Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. It is another beautiful day here in Wisconsin. You can see the sun right there just starting to crack over the horizon. We are headed back to a job that we started a couple weeks ago. We went there on a Friday and we removed an old colored and stamped patio. If you remember, it was super thick, tons of rebar. It was a real headache to get the concrete out, but it's out and we're heading back there now. He put some footings in, some post hole footings for a future deck and he's ready for us to come back. We're going to set the patio, get that ready to pour. That's going to be colored and stamped as well. And then we have some additional work up top. So it should be be a good day. I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. All right, have a great Friday. Good morning. Morning. All right, you're all set. Thank yep, you. have a good weekend. You too, thank you. Okay, I'm just pulling into the yard. Brian Jr. is leaving. I'll text you the address. He's gonna go pick up. Whoa, he didn't tie down the buckets. You can't drive around with loose buckets on the trailer. He didn't tie them down. Everything on a trailer always has to be tied. Just go in the road and tie it. I'll move my truck. Brought the Camino, huh? Yeah, take the truck in the shop. Yeah? 615 obviously bugs jade and ryan are here this form truck is a real mess right now and i mean a mess we got a lump of concrete on there again whole bunch of plastic and garbage and pieces of forms that need to be thrown out so i'm gonna start working on that stuff before the other guys get here oh ray I mentioned yesterday, or we kind of had the idea of maybe get uh, a form or two, probably just one form, for the big concrete blocks. For those, for one steel form, for those blocks, is $4,500 just for one steel form. But anyways, what I was thinking is we could, uh, we could put a form up here maybe put a steel plate we could even maybe mount the steel plate you know maybe like just some quarter inch or whatever mount it down because the the form only has you know the sides the top and the bottom are open so put a piece of steel for the bottom form and then put it here and then all the extra concrete that we have you know say i order strong and you know there's extra concrete on the truck enough to form a block pour the concrete make a block every time we have extra concrete i think by the end of the season i would have quite a few blocks because those blocks <clears throat> are expensive to buy and if you can you know just make them and not have to get extra material because you already have it i don't see why not and then on poor days i could just uh i could take this trailer with my personal truck it would work out pretty good here she comes. Hi, Jade. Hi, Jade. It's Friday. It's Friday. Is that why you're so excited? No, because you're always excited. Oh, my, my, my. This is a mess back here. So I saw a lumber rack in Indiana that I was really interested in because we need a lumber rack kind of like this for the new yard. And it's sold right away. So that's gone. That's not an option. Why would you put stuff like this on the rack? I can tell you why. It's called laziness. You don't want to take it apart when you're cleaning the truck, so you just throw the whole thing on the rack. Morning, Ray. There's uh, two eggs. Two, two, two of them. Two dozen oh. over there, Ryan. Oh, thank you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Eggs from Bugs Chickens. Francisco's here. Morning. Good, how are you? Uh, everybody's early today. Almost everybody. 6.23. I'm gonna work on that lump of concrete now. Came loose. <laughs> Bugs is leg pressing the concrete. Got her. Well, I had 
this to the collection of Ray's Lumps. That was deja vu again. Ray's getting a collection of lumps. The new mountain. Yeah, no more buggies like that, Ray. <laughs> What's up, Eric? What's up? It is 6.30. Ryan texts me. He's just leaving now. He just chained the buckets down. I'm glad I saw that. Really, really don't need that bucket sliding off around a corner or something. Halfway there and then we have nothing to load the buckets back on or worse, it falls off and a car hits it or something. So I think I decided even when we move over to the new land in a, in a couple months, I'm gonna keep this salt dome up here on this property. In the winter, I'm just gonna continue using this for salt. I'm not gonna have time to put build a whole new one over there. So I'm gonna rent both places. This place here, I, I rent, it's pretty inexpensive. I've been here for 20 something years, over 20 years. So he doesn't really raise the rent. So you can imagine I, I don't pay a lot here. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give this up. I think what I'm gonna do is Ryan just left. I think I'm gonna go to the winter shop with Ryan and help him load the skid steer because that's what we're gonna be waiting on. I mean, I'm pretty much ready to start digging. I know what we're doing there. And I don't wanna just get there and wait and wait and wait and have the guys stand around. Even if I can save 10 minutes by going to the winter shop, that'll help. So on this job, I don't know what we're all gonna get done. We're gonna set as much as we can, but I can't work late tonight. I gotta make this an early day. A, all the guys are on overtime, so that's never great for me. And uh, I just have other stuff I gotta get done. A lot of irons in the fire right now, which is fine, but you know, it just makes you busy. Busy, busy. Getting the jobs done is just one, one part of it. All right, just came to the winter shop here. I'm gonna grab the skid loader. Ryan should be just a few minutes behind me. A lot of people have been asking, where's the new skid loader? Where's the new skid loader? Well, it's right here and it's ready to go. And we're gonna use it today. One shot, all right. We're gonna have to get this truck in the rotation too pretty soon because the truck Bugs is driving the F-350. It needs some front end work and it's getting worse and worse and worse. The thing is, I don't really want Jade in here with her claws and getting mud and because she has those sharp nails and she, she like scratches stuff and I don't want her messing up the interior of a brand new truck. So I'm gonna have to talk to Bugs about it and see what he wants to do. I don't mind him driving the truck, but Jade's gonna have to, I don't know, maybe we'll have to switch trucks or he'll take the form truck for a week or something and let the other guys drive this one. We'll have to figure it out. All right, Ryan's here. This is gonna be interesting to compare the two skid loaders, the New Holland to the Bobcat. The Bobcat, I know like the back of my hand. I know exactly what it feels like, how much power it has, what it's capable of, how stable it is. Even just going up the ramps here, good! If the New Holland can't climb the ramps, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, this will be interesting to see if it can climb the ramps. Cause even the T320, it's, you know, it's getting to where if it was any steeper, it would start to tip. So we're gonna find out right now. One thing I don't like about this is, this is gonna sound minor, but the T320, I hit the key, I hit the button and I go immediately. This one, you know, you gotta turn, you know, the ignition on and then it starts and you gotta let the computer come on, which takes several seconds. And then you gotta push the button to make it go. I know it sounds minor, but little things like that kind of drive me crazy. Let's see if this thing goes up the ramps. If I turtle a brand new skid steer on the first trip up, that's not gonna be fun. We're gonna find out right now. Yeah, this is really sketchy. I feel 
feel like Eric. I'm a little nervous. We're almost there. Come on. It made it, but that was really sketchy. I know you couldn't see it, but I could feel it, and it was teetering right on the edge. But it did make it. All right, we're hooked up. We're ready to go. I'll move over a little bit. Now we gotta find how we're gonna tie this thing. It should be easy. This thing barely makes it up the ramps with no bucket. Oh, it's very similar to the Bobcat. So we'll use these front handles and then it has uh, it has tied on hooks in the back. So that's, that's perfect. <laughs> we're here back at this job again it's 720 so what we're doing up top here is we're gonna remove this concrete from this joint here up this one and then across that one all those sections in front of the garage it's all settled so we're gonna take that out take this out and then we're gonna run a form here all the way alongside the garage there is a bit of a drop-off so we're gonna have to build up some forms here probably a couple two by sixes I would imagine and then uh, Basically, it goes up to here, back in this way, and then we're going to curve it around, and then it's going to, I don't know, hit the deck somewhere there. We're going to have to screw some, some wood to the face of the deck to pour up on that, put a new concrete step. Uh, I believe all this gets filled in. We'll box out around the utilities. So that's the top, and the bottom is down here. Oh, wow. Got all their post holes in. Looks really different down there than the last time. Morning. How are you? Good. It's Friday, which is my favorite, but I'm tired today. There's not really any digging to do. I mean, just take some of this loose stuff out because the height's up pretty high. I mean, over there, there is some digging to do, but did you want to come all the way over or partially or oh, under the spigot? Yeah, just past the spigot. You think like here ish? Yeah. And then curve it back in to kind of like where it was, yep. like that. I think it would be a nice shape, yeah. you know. It's big. <laughs> it's really big. Oh, you get the honor of us using the brand new machine. Oh, look at that. Very first time it's ever been used. Put the bucket down or you're not going to open the door. Junior here too. Yeah, Junior's here. He'll keep things moving along. Yeah. All right, well. We're gonna start digging this out and I'll put that rock back and we'll start forming. So we're gonna use all gray forms. The whole thing is gray forms. I'm gonna mess with these rocks first. I gotta get this boulder back in that spot, which I don't know if it's gonna fit with the sauna tube there. We'll do the best we can. We're gonna move all these rocks back and then uh, I'm gonna start cutting this out. It's gonna be a little tricky now with the sauna tubes kind of in the way, um, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Yeah, I keep everything like way over here for now because I got to come around and dig one form at a time, guys. Oh, we're gonna have a world don't like don't four. get tired. I took four. I know, but he'd rather do four trips. <laughs> Trying to make that easy money hours. Trying to make hours. He doesn't want to get hurt, he said. Oh, okay. Those are like a pound and a half each. So, what kind of gravel did he get? Washed on. This is not the right gravel, is it? So pull this truck up and then you pull a dump truck like this and then back it right here so I can load it right here. This patio is going to take a little while. We're not going to be able to get the bobcat in every skid loader in everywhere. And I'm tired. I'm going to be honest about it. I'm getting uh, slightly burned out and it's only June and I'm not in a good mood today. I'm going to yell at somebody. Get up there! We're working. I'm about to lose my temper. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? I'm mad. Who puts these forms right in the way? <laughs> They're laughing. They don't take me serious, Carl. Yeah. What's going on? I can get rid of these. So what I was saying is I think we're just going to set this patio up and go home. I'm getting in a little bit of trouble with my schedule. I have people that expect me to be there and we're not there. So I'm gonna have to, I'm pretty good at schmoozing people. 
and kind of working that over. I'm feeling that pressure right now to get more work done. Hey, pull this compactor off here. We need it back here because Bug's going to be out looking for it already. You already did. You made us go get it. Oh, really? Yeah. Go get my compactor, yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even start digging for the forms. Know, <laughs> On Friday, he's going to be like, go take the whacker to the next job, brother. <laughs> I'll be ready. Waiting for you. All right, brand new machine. This is pretty cool. Seeing that too, you know, like you throttle it off and it takes like three or four seconds for it to actually throttle off. It's like, come on, I'm ready to work, man. I don't like working with the windshield on these machines. I like to be able to jump in and out really fast. And uh, you get better visibility with no windshield, but honestly, with a brand new machine, I don't want to dust this whole thing out on the first day. So I'm going to keep it on for today. All right, I'm going to work on this guy's boulder. Got it. Set it to the side for now. Get the last four by hand so I don't push into his wall too much. back in here like what seemed like a long time ago and the truck's still not in here and I don't see the truck at all where did he go not answering finally come on throttle up yeah thank you all the waiting on these new machines wait for this and wait for that and, like, come on as far as the lift goes i think it's about the same as what i had yeah it looks like about exactly the same the machine's pretty smooth as far as operating it it's pretty similar to bobcat uh, there's just a there's a slight very slight hesitation when you move the sticks it's not instantaneous like the bobcat but that, that's just something you'll get used to. It'll be second nature. Other than that, it's, it's really smooth. The hydraulics are smooth. Hydraulics are fast. As far as this machine goes, it is a two-speed. So you can see the button there, the little rabbit and the turtle. That's, you know, low speed and high speed. So the low speed, I noticed, is slightly slower than the T320, which is only a single speed. And then the rabbit is faster. So... Uh, you always operate in turtle when you're digging and stuff like that So it's a little bit slower travel speed, but you do have the option when you're coming to the truck You know if it's out by the road to put it in the high speed, so that's probably a wash We got to pour concrete all the way against the rock So dig all this out here and we're coming to here So dig a little maybe to the base of this one dig that out throw it over there when I come back I'll grab this one dig all the loose stuff around that post This ain't working. Come on, let's just move it by hand, I guess. We'll try. How you want it to get a flat side, right? That flat side that's down. This this should be showing. So if we roll it twice, we should be where we want to go. Yeah, try it yep, now roll it in. Well, you want this side right there, right? Yep. And now if you just push it in from there. Push it in. We're good. What's that? This concave piece up against that. So it's got to be rolled again then? So just roll it up. That's okay. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Will it stay like that? Let me just push it now. Yeah, yeah, bring it, bring it. More? Finished 
digging around that radius. Okay, all the edges are dug out. They're digging out the last corner, which I can't get to at all with the machine. Should be good though. I'm gonna start setting forms. And uh, I'm gonna leave that open so we can come over here, we get this area graded. And then maybe we'll stop the forms about here. Ray, you lost a brass ring? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come out, come out. He needs a hat already? It's only 8.30 in the morning. No, remember he switched when we asked for the saw. Right. And then you grabbed the concrete saw. Changed the blade when I asked him to get When you were in a rush changing the blade, you probably lost the ring. You said you started moving like this because of that reason. Yeah, when your ring's not on there. But the composite blade that wobbled, that that had nothing to do with it. That was garbage. Yeah. That, that was the, the blade the itself. We need a new blade, Ryan. Yeah, I don't like that. That looks bad. That's got to go in a little bit more, or this has got to go out a little bit more. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. This patio is huge. Huge. It's all stamped concrete too. This is the one where the concrete was bad yeah. to take out really, really bad. Okay, we'll start connecting some of these guys. We're just gonna set it to here, leave that open so I can get in on that side with stone. Otherwise I'll be locked out with a skid loader. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do for now. I'm gonna get the heights going on this and then uh, we'll grade from the corner this way. We'll finish this out, grade this, and then we'll start over there. I'll put some strings up and we'll grade against the house and then finish the forms and grade out. Your arms are sore? That's from carrying the crew, man. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, I see you guys yeah. emptied the entire truck yeah, of forms cool. again. This whole thing's stamped. How are we gonna stamp this much concrete in one shot? Look how high it is. Big man. Uh, is it, well, have to count on the shade. Unless I order three trucks, if it's like 14 yards. We're using our magnetic stamps? I hope so, I don't know. I gotta talk to them. Are we gonna cut that down a little bit more? They're brand new. Do you think I'm gonna cut all those? Are you no. It's pretty high. Well, you gotta go get the hand, man. Wait till you see the string go up now and then you'll realize. Those forms got to come up probably six, eight, six inches right. right now. What's wrong with your pencil? Oh. One more. Want to try it? Sure, Ray. I'll try your pencil. <laughs> here, get yours out of here. Ray's is obviously superior. Menards? Menards. Oh, did they pay us to use this on camera? Menards. <laughs> oh, yeah. They gave us that 2.3 million just to show their pencil one time. Let <laughs> <laughs> throw it away. For one minute. Yeah. Hey, guys. yeah. Right. Ten Don't second spot. One minute. I know, right? <laughs> that thing is nice. Look at that marking ability. It's dark on the pen. You can see it from a mile away. It seems sturdy. It's all swelled up. I'm talking about, boss. <laughs> it's my review of the pencil. And there it is. You see oh, that? I know. what is it? Take this out, put it back in here. Oh, it's got a full. Yeah, you want to see it again? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, $2. Dollars. You're, you're, you're wow. How much is it though? $2? Oh. Huh? $17.99. So how much is it? $17.99. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm still using the plastic hammer. I didn't use it on a video and people are like, where's the plastic hammer? How come you're not using the plastic hammer? Well, honestly, whatever hammer is closest to me at that time, I'm grabbing. And whenever that video was, had a different hammer. So far, they're still holding up. They're pretty decent. I mean, the plastic is scuffed, but I like them. The handles are a little bit slippery, to be honest. Cut some grooves or something in there or wrap them with tape or whatever. But from the factory, they're pretty slick. Okay, getting some heights set here. We're gonna start grading right away. Try to make this a quick and easy day. I'll put a big hump of gravel over this pipe so I can drive right over the pipe. The tracks have very, very low ground pressure, so 
if you put some gravel over the pipe, the pipe doesn't really experience much, much crushing weight on it. Very little actually. Ray, go get rid of that dirt and then get another load of gravel. Okay. We're gonna need a lot of gravel here. That gravel we got, I don't think you like that gravel, right? I forgot. The one that we got from Coke. Coke I told you never get gravel from there. Sorry. I don't like that gravel. So, then with that told, said, told you, Ryan. Yeah. I told you he got the gravel from the place yeah, I don't I like buying that, gravel from. I that. No, I just don't like the consistency. Oh. It's not my favorite gravel. I'm picky. I like certain things, you know. So, the yeah. gravel has a lot of round stuff in it, uh -huh. like that. And you know, when you when you step on it, it goes like kind of goes poof, yeah. Yeah. and it doesn't really compact. Doesn't bind yeah, good that's right. As a right, like yeah. washed rock. Right. That's why it's not my mm. favorite. Why don't you put some marks on those rocks, and we can get like a chalk line on the rocks. That way, that way we're done there. Eric, can you put some pins against the house so we can grade? We're just gonna grade this part here with with the gravel we have. You guys talk about a pattern? Like, have you seen pictures that you like, or you still have no idea? I don't think she has an idea. Okay, that's fine. Unless you want to do just the texture on the inside. If you just want to do a texture on the inside, then it doesn't cost more money because the texture is less money than a full stamp already. I gotta see if I brought some charts in my truck. I'll be right back. I probably did. Yeah, it's a really really big patio. I would love doing the texture. The texture where we could fly across it. Now, but the texture is a little bit faster than the other stamps. So it's a little bit cheaper as far as cost goes. We're ready to start grading. I'm gonna start bringing gravel in here. We're gonna need a lot more gravel than we have. We're putting a lot of gravel in this thing. Come on, machine, stop thinking about it. Just go. It's just kind of driving me nuts. You gotta like wait. There, now it kicked in. Now it'll actually operate. Push the button once, push the button twice. Come on, man. All right, let's shut it off and try again. I'm gonna get out all the way. Sit down, close the door. Seat bar, start it. Button, there it goes. Now it won't idle up, it has to think about it for a little while again. Come on, keep thinking. Two hours later. There we go. The new machines think way too much. That's just my opinion. I want to work. I don't. I don't want my machine thinking. Just go. It's getting warmer here. I'm gonna put the AC on. See if that works. I'm not gonna tell the guys though. They'll get jealous. Oh, that's nice and cold. Ice cold. Bugs is ready to compact. He's ready. I'm gonna put gravel over the pipe, run over the pipe. I'm gonna start at the corner grading. That's the plan. Just take that string down. Looks like Jay found some friends. <laughs> They're actually getting along pretty good, surprisingly. Jay's pretty good though around the other dogs. She didn't go crazy. I mean, she wants to play, but she didn't go crazy. Some pit bulls, they see another dog, they're like, rawr, rawr, they, want they want to kill them, yeah. Yeah. We're making our way around grading. We'll have enough gravel to finish this side, it looks like, thankfully. And then when Ray gets back, we can grade the other side. What are these guys doing? 
<laughs> They're all statues. Do you like the statues? <laughs> I didn't really notice you guys pretty much work like that all the time anyway. <laughs> That side's done. So now what I'm gonna do is put, I'll put one more form on here. That'll give us another 12 feet. Then we'll be able to grade most of that. And then, uh, and then we'll finish up once we put the last form in there. That should be pretty easy. <laughs> Very easy. It's going pretty good today. No big problems so far. I really like the machine, how it operates. I love it, actually. I love the machine. It's strong, it's smooth, responsive. I like the second or the high speed for traveling. It's awesome, especially here on a job like this. I got a long way to go to get gravel and to dump. So that's really helpful. It's very comfortable. The cab is very spacious, good visibility. So far, really the only thing I don't like about it is the time it takes for the computer to, you know, to actually start the machine and begin to operate it. That's driving me absolutely bananas right now. It's got a radio. I don't really listen to the radio when I operate the Bobcat in situations like this because you got to concentrate and focus. AC feels really good. No dust in the cab. It's nice. I like the machine. I like it. I like it. A than ours? No, it's about the same amount of power as ours. But uh, I like everything about it. The only thing I don't like is when you go to start it, the computer takes a minute to cycle. That drives me nuts because I'm just like you, like I want to go right away. Yeah, I know. It's driving me a little crazy, but I'm going to draw this out here. That's kind of how I like to do it is paint it out first, if you can. Just see what you got going on. Looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna soften this just a little bit. This has gotta go in a little bit. Oh, I don't like this. Just drill right through the foam. Yeah, I wanna get all the rods in, all the mesh, so Monday morning is not too crazy for us. I wanna put one more on there, just temporary. So I can make sure that the shape's gonna be what I'm looking for. I don't want to pin that whole wand and then have to fix it. I'll just put a few pins in this one, make sure I like it. And if I like it, then I'll set this one, take this one back out. All right, that shape looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna pin that first one and then I'll pull this one back off now that I know it's all gonna flow when we go to put it back in I just got a couple pins in there just to hold it we're putting it in dust now once we yeah, wash that it looks really cool though I think with, like, with the dust you think that looks cool no the dust oh it looks more like a construction machine where'd you fly out of LaGuardia, LaGuardia? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead set this form here the race should be back, then we can grade, grade, grade. We'll get this all graded nice. I hear a dump truck coming, hopefully it's Ray. So we're ready to grade. Yep, that's him. I just heard the air brake. I put two <laughs> rolls on there the other day. Well, man, look what we used up yesterday. We used a lot on that house, man. Are we burning? Yeah, I did almost two rolls on that house. Wow, that's a lot of felt, man. We're gonna have to cut back. I need to save money. No, we'll cut it in half and just use it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, now we're talking. No, what we'll do is we'll peel that strip and just use the strips. <laughs> that half an inch so it looks like there's felt. Yep. I gotta tell Ray where to dump. He doesn't know right now. Oh, Ray, stay off the guy's concrete. Why? Why would you drive the dump truck on his concrete? Hold it! You're not dumping there! We're dumping around the corner in that gravel there. Hey, and when you came in, you gotta be careful. Don't run over like the concrete corners of people's driveways. You can break it off real easy and then we're cutting that whole piece off. So you're gonna back like that around the corner and dump where the white gravel is. And we're only gonna dump about half. It's a fast way to break the corner off. He came cruising right over this corner right here. Thankfully it didn't crack, but you gotta be careful. Oh, he did crack it. Oh, Ray, Ray cracked it. He did crack it. I'll have to cut that off. Fix it. That's good. Now pull forward and then back in. I was actually getting to be in a pretty good mood, but now I'm not. 
And it's so big, there's no reason to do that. There's tons of room. It's just loss of focus, not thinking. You actually did break the driveway. We cracked. Cr yeah, you cracked it off. As soon as you did it, I was like, no. We're only dumping about half that. Hopefully he'll accept us just cutting the corner off and replacing just the corner. Because I really don't feel like replacing the whole section. We'll see what he thinks of it. Yeah, when you came in, you like came over here. Yeah, no, and yeah, then you I went, and then you hit the corner. You just ran right over the corner and he broke it off. Yeah, anytime you see a corner like this, yeah, I'm man. I'm never going to do that again. You got to avoid it. Never. Yeah, because now I got to deal with this guy. Tell him we did damage to his driveway. Right now, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm just going to finish grading and then... When everything's kind of cleaned up and looking good, then I'll say, hey, I gotta show you something. He seems all right. Hopefully we can just cut that on a 45 and doll in a new piece. We'll see what he says. He just ran over the guy, the very corner of the guy's driveway with the full load of gravel for no reason. He had plenty of room. Yeah, he broke it off. Oh, <sighs> Eric, go get the hat for real. Ray, if you keep this up, I'm gonna get your head permanently tattooed pink. <laughs> <laughs> He came barreling in, oh. and, and I was watching him, uh -huh. and then like, and then he just, it looked like you did it on purpose. I was trying to do that. It looked like you did it on purpose. You were like this with the truck, and I said something, I got on camera, I was like, no, not over the corner, and then he was like, pow, pow, and then I walked over there, I didn't see it right away, and I was like, oh, thankfully he didn't break it, and I was like, oh, it's broken, never mind. <laughs> I'll talk to the tattoo shop later. <laughs> Dump what's left in the truck on the land and then get more loads of gravel on the land yeah and then when we're done here i'll get in contact with you and then we'll i'll bring your check or whatever and stuff okay. and then we'll be done i don't really need you here i need a lot more gravel on the land so he's been bringing loads of gravel over there so tomorrow i'm gonna go work over there and do some grading <laughs> clear my mind we're getting close to being done now maybe one more bucket you good all right, so we're all graded. I'm gonna have the guys put the mesh in. I wanna get all the mesh in right away too. Okay. That way Monday morning is not a scramble, you know. And we can come back here and just focus on the patio. It's a big pour. It's gonna be a little stressful being all stamped with a border. But if he goes with the texture, it's gonna take a lot of the pressure off. If he goes with a full pattern, that's, I'm, a, I'm gonna be the one that's stressed, not these guys. It's my patio, so because it's, it's large. You think we should do two buggies, Bugs? That'd be nice. That'd be nice to get it out of the truck. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. That's right? a good idea. Great. Yeah, you know how that is, get it out of the truck. I mean, because we got yours here, we could drop it off, and then Monday we could bring the other one. That's a good idea, yeah. man. That's, yeah. I like that. At least, it's... At least have to get to half the patio down, maybe we can drop down to one then. Right. And I don't know if I like his plan with the cedar and that nah. right i should just tell him to just put the foam all the way up and now you can just smooth it yeah we'll smooth it it's only an inch and a right. it's just so it. a little over an inch right. like make a little ramp you could barely notice yep. we're just cleaning up bugs is tying the mesh down and we're pretty much ready to pour i'm gonna go talk to the guy i'm gonna try to talk him into doing the concrete by his patio doors a little differently he wanted to do like a little step down you see it's like an inch and a half and i just don't think that's going to be good. I think we should pour concrete and just kind of ramp it up to the bottom of the threshold of the patio door. Uh, you're not really going to notice that that much. Inch and a half will kind of fan the concrete out around it so you can barely tell. All right, I'm going to go talk to the guy. Give him the bad news about the driveway on the other side of the house. Try to talk him into this. Um, a couple things. One, I see you marked this one. So, canvas. Yeah, cool. that's the one we did. Yep. And then, did you have any ideas here or you want to wait on this one? Let's wait on that since I'll let her make it. Okay, that. I'll leave this here then. Okay. You know, I'll leave these both here. Let me just yeah. take a picture so I remember it's canvas. And then just keep it here. And then, uh, Ray broke the concrete down here, so I want to show you that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. He ran right over the corner. I saw him do it. 
So I did. I was walking this way, and all of a sudden he's coming up the driveway to turn this way. And for whatever reason, he veered to the right and then veered right back to the left and just ran right over the corner. I was, and I was like, Ray, come on, man. So we can saw it, we can just saw it off and put a new piece and rebar it in. We'll put like four rebar, make sure it's super strong, yeah. Connect it to the old piece. At some point, I wanna, well, you know what? Uh, connect it all together. Yeah. And then I wanna show you something on the patio doors too. I just think we should ramp up the concrete. I just don't like the idea of having a little step down because you're gonna be out of cold to begin with. Minimum step height is five inches. So I really think we could ramp up the concrete to the bottom of the lip of that aluminum. And I, I just think it's gonna be a lot better. Technically, if you ever sell the house and the inspector, you know, he could measure that and say, this patio has gotta come out or this is against cold or whatever. You know, this will be the level of the concrete, but then when we come to the doors, we'll just slightly ramp it up to the bottom of the aluminum. You know what I mean? I think it would just be a lot better. I'll put, and I'll fill, put a filler piece in there. Too. Yeah, yeah. That way you might not even have to like cut that one down. Just put a whatever that is, inch and a half piece in there. I'll run and bring the two types of textures back over here so you can actually see the mats themselves. Um, if you guys like the texture or whatever. And yeah, and we should be ready to go. It's, it's uh, 14 and a half yards plus extras. You have 15 and a half yards of concrete with the with the thickened edge and plus we're a little thick along the house here really five inches for sure there all right so we're out of here for today and we'll just watch the weather obviously for monday but hey can you guys put these bigger rocks over there or somewhere where do you want these i don't want these laying here Throw them in with the other stuff. <laughs> making the superintendent put in the work today if you want to use the buggy over the weekend yeah. you know it's <laughs> It's all yours. I'm gonna leave my son, hook up the trailer, load the bobcat and all that himself. I wanna get I wanna get these guys off the clock and then you know just out and be done for the weekend. This kind of stuff is no good though. These rocks will bounce off on the highway. Smash a windshield and then I have to pay for it again. Every time you dump, you basically gotta go behind the truck and make sure it's clean. Brake chambers, everything. The gravel accumulates on all that stuff clients giving us a real gas can from way back in the day before they put all the safety mechanisms on our little gas cans I don't understand all this stuff I really don't there's a lot of things in our country where I wish we could turn back the clock a whole lot of things but what are you gonna do it is what it is back to the yard I gotta get the concrete ordered with the color in it Make sure she can get it. Guys, it's all blue by. Didn't even help Ryan line up the trailer or anything. Come on. Stand there! This thing's probably not even gonna go high enough. The tandem sits a lot higher than the quad. The hitch, that is. Pull forward and go that way a little bit. Just missed. It might drop, but. It's close. I don't know if it's gonna drop, but we're gonna find out. It's gone. Yep, got it. All right, he's all hooked up. I thought they stopped there gonna help you with this, but then they were like, forget it. Always put the boom all the way down when you get in and out. It's real, I'm too fat. It's hard for me to get in. Oh look, I got a little friend in here. Yep, New Holland's really, really good so far. Tomorrow I'm gonna use it at the new land and I'm gonna be digging up roots. So I'll really be using the horsepower tomorrow and I'll have a good feel for the amount of power that it has, digging power, when it's really having to, you know, struggle. So that's for tomorrow though. Fuel this up. The uh, the fuel fills back here. It's not like the Bobcat. Right here. Got her, Otter? Don't put it in here. You put it in here, fire. That's hydraulic oil. Diesel, it says diesel fuel right on the cap. It's okay. pretty much the same thing anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. 
No, <laughs> not really. Yeah. When the hydraulic pump seizes right away, you'll know it's not the same. Hey, after it's filled up, drop it at the new land. Going into the yard, it's 1230. Just gotta get the guys their checks basically and send them on their way. Ramon's still hauling me gravel to the new land. Ryan's dropping the New Holland off there as well so I can work tomorrow, get some stuff done. Jay wants her check too. Yeah, she does, she's waiting. Cash bonuses. No way. You still owe me money, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm meeting you Saturday. Huh? Coming to your house Saturday. You better come to my house Saturday. Ah! It's for my Memorial Day. Thank you. Yeah. Ramon is not going to be happy, man. They Ooh. forgot to write him a check. It's not in there. He's going to be salty. I'm going to have to write him a personal check or something. I don't know, everybody's check is here except for Ramon's Memorial Day. But you got to give it right back anyway. Don't get too excited. You owe me stacks on stacks, Eric. Man, you owe me stacks too. Man, why did they not write Ramon a check? Unless I made a mistake and forgot to send over the info, I better check. Oh, uh, I messed up. I forgot to send in Ramon's information. He's gonna be mad. I'm gonna have to run to my house quick and get my checkbook. Cause obviously Ramon's gonna wanna get paid. Yeah, he's got a lot of kids. I can't do him like that. Like, no, I wanna just get it to you on Monday. No, you can come. I'll just get you next Friday, Ray. <laughs> no problem. You have a They're check. like, no, you won't. Can you eat those eggs, Ray? Yeah, I eat those eggs. Those are fresh from today. Bugs just picked them from the hen house today. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, we eat them like crazy at home. We, we eat tons of eggs. Scramble eggs? Everything. What's Caddy doing out here? She was just in the car. In the car? Yeah. She's super bad. She was just in the car. You want to bake to death? Is that what you want? Hi, Grace. Daniel, go show dad what you got. What did you get? <laughs> Brand new bike? Why don't you walk it over here? Up the hill. Wow. Super nice. A huffy. No. Daniel, you can't do burnouts. No, I'm serious. When you skid like that, it wears the tires out super fast. So don't do that, okay? Okay. Otherwise, I'll give you a ticket. You want to go to prison? If I see skid marks on the driveway, 25 to life yeah his last bike he kept he saw me do burnouts in the driveway with the car and he was just just kept skidding and skidding and just burned the tire right out on his old bike he called them burnouts oh caddy's hunting a fly did you get it get it she's trying did you miss it Oh, come on. Daniel, you so yeah, happy. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah, we got a new bike. I know how that You know that Huffy? That's like a Lamborghini to us. Oh, yeah. When you get a brand new bike oh, yeah. like that, man. Yeah, it took me a while to get a brand new bike. I was like, man, it felt so good. Oh, oh, oh my, kids, my kids are privileged. You probably didn't have one right away. Oh, no. You probably had a hoop. You have to share. Yeah, I did. Ryan, I have oh. to share with my brother. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> one you got to put the... Oh, Hi, how are you? Green, okay? Yeah. Is the booth okay? Sure. What's going on, guys? Oh, not much. You guys are tired? Oh, you look a little tired. tired. We don't even work hard. You're hardly working today? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. How would we ever get tired? I feel fresh. Monday through Friday, <laughs> Saturday, doesn't matter. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. I'm hungry? Oh, we have a couple yes. different options today as far as burgers. I've got a chorizo burger. Chorizo? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, jalapenos, chipotle mayo. I'll take a French onion to start. You want to start with that? Oh, yeah. Anybody else? Super healthy, huh? This is sort of healthy as chicken. It does have chips, though. I'm so skinny now. You are a... Yeah, I'm yeah. too skinny. No, I'm not too skinny. I still got a ways to go. Anybody can lose. You just got to starve yourself. No, no really nobody really likes yourself. that. Well, <laughs> oh, you do. That's what you're doing. I'll cover the whole week. Though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. Thank you. We'll come back yep. Yeah, I'm going to work on the land. It's nice just sit in the skid steer and just yeah, think yeah. about life. Mm -hmm. Nobody bothers me. I can't hear my phone ring. When are you going to put a new bed on your truck? 
I'm actually going to go see how much the steel costs for that. Cause I'm taking it this weekend off. You are taking it off? Oh yeah. Make sure you got a plan to put something on. Yeah. Because you can't do nothing with the truck with zero bed. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you got some kind of plan, man. Because if you do that, take it off, and then you get busy and you got nothing, then you got to drive your dump truck to do everything. Okay. I want to take that off, man. Until I have one? Yes. Until you're ready to make one. I, I mean, it's going to fall off on its own strap, in a strap, week or two, so yeah, the strap just save yourself some work. Yeah. I mean, all you really got to do is just remove the strap and just drive more than 35 miles an hour. Dude, it's bad. I know. It's bad. It's like this. It's been right <laughs> No, it's... You should tear that piece off, man. That's going to come off and hurt somebody. All right, we had lunch, as you saw. <laughs> that bed is bad. And I called Ramon. I told him to get the one last load of gravel. So we're going to get to the new land probably about the same time. I'm going to write him his check. And then all my guys are done. Ryan's already gone. So we're good. It's only 1.44 right now. Pulling into the new land. So Ray's been bringing gravel he's on load number four right now so i should have a pretty good heap of gravel here to use yeah skid loaders here ready to go ryan dropped it off there's my gravel i'm gonna have ray drop this last one back over here where i actually need it so this is where things are at today so i'm not gonna show any more of this on the video today tomorrow morning I'm going to uh, be here working and I'll try to video some of that. Today I'm just going to have Ray dump it and I don't know if I'm going to play around. I could play around for a little while in the skid steer. Yeah, I'll play around for a little while. I got an hour. I can I can spare an hour. So I got, I won't show up, but I got some gravel over there and I got a hole that I'm filling. So I'm going to push all that gravel into the hole. I may want to flatten this out here. And then, uh, and then call it good until tomorrow. I got a guy that's going to uh, fix the roof. He's gonna put new fascia on because that is like falling off. It's all bent. And then he's gonna do a new rubber roof. I'm gonna take. That's the vent for the old boiler. I'm gonna cut that off. Get that out of there. I'll pour some concrete. It's a spancrete, so I'll put some plywood underneath, and then uh, put a bunch of rebar into the uh, abscess and pour some concrete up there so I can fill the hole in the roof see right there it's just a big big hole through the concrete so we'll pull that out of there and patch the concrete we'll tap con plywood up there some three-quarter inch or whatever uh, probably three rebars into each side half inch at least this is not a forever building this is just a shed and um, it's probably only gonna be here for two years and then we're gonna have to tear it down because it's gonna be in the way of building number two. First building's up in the front corner, second building's back in this area here. This is actually gonna be right in the middle of the building. So this has to come down, but it'll be a big help, um, you know, until the time comes to build a second building. If that time ever comes, being very optimistic, obviously, you gotta be optimistic. Um, you know, just building one building, I'm gonna be extremely happy to have the land and a building. Just gotta keep thinking to the future and you know, if things go well, continue to go well. Building number two is here. Building number three is that last row of trucks. That's gonna be in this direction. And then building four several years from now is gonna be way on that end of the property. Okay, that's the last load of gravel today. So that's what I got to work with tomorrow. And I know that looks like a whole bunch of gravel cause it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's seven loads, but it, it really doesn't go very far. I only did this little square here and this was six loads and I got a load over there too. So this was like five loads here, believe it or not, because I'm putting it in probably, you know, nine, 10 inches thick. So I'm gonna write Ray his check and then get him out of here and then I'll play around for about an hour. Bonus for you. It was Memorial Day, yeah, you get a bonus. Like last week. All right, I'll see you on Monday. Yeah. I am headed home, I am done here. Basically what I did is I took a gravel. They, the previous owners years and years ago when this was a precast place, they left 
tons and tons and tons of sand and gravel all through this area here so what i did is you know when i dug this all out this was about two feet low some spots two and a half feet low i just took all that gravel and sand and i pushed it into the low spot so tomorrow what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the rest of this garbage out so there's been a depression right here in this land for a long long time and obviously it got wet it's not wet now it hasn't rained at all um, but I'm gonna pull all this grass out and then I dig all the roots out too. And I've been pushing the roots, I excuse the wind. So I've been digging all the roots out cause you can't have that mat of roots underneath where you're gonna have a parking lot. This is gonna be a parking lot here. So I'm taking that mat of roots out, which is a real pain, but I'm using that new uh, grapple that I got. It's working pretty good. And I'm just pushing it all up here in the piles. So tomorrow I'm gonna remove all this grass and the mat of roots that's underneath. It's not a real huge area, that's all that's left. I'm gonna push this all out of here, take all these little bushes out, uh, shrubs, whatever, push all that farther back. And then I'm gonna fill the low, what will be a low spot here uh, with fill that's back in that area so i'm going to level this entire area out and then i'm going to take some of the gravel actually i'll take all the gravel that i have here that ray brought me and i'll gravel as far i'll continue that square pad and i'll bring it as far as i possibly can until i run out of gravel that's the plan for tomorrow so i'll see you guys in the morning adios